Hi, it's Martin and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's video is almost a community crowdsourcing of ideas kind of a video. It's going to be a shorter one. Um, I've got my knitting. I'm working on a pair of socks. This was yarn that I bought at the Unravel Festival um, and it's some self-striping yarn by Gemma of The Little Grey Girl. Um, and I'm just doing a slip stitch um, each time the first row of the colour change. So it's just given that slightly broken, broken edge. But I'm just going to sit here and knit and chat to you for a couple of minutes because there's a few things that, as I said, I want to get some community feedback on. If I hold it up, is that better? You can see me knitting. Um, so yeah, slightly different video from me today. Um, and I've got kind of two things that I wanted to talk about. One is around collaboration. And the second is um, a Q&A. So the collaboration, it's something I've thought about doing for a while. And I've got some incredibly um, talented, favourite dyers and designers. And... I, I just take my hat off to people that can design patterns. I've said this before. I don't think I'm very creative. I can follow a pattern, um, but I, I definitely couldn't design a pattern myself. And what I'm wondering about doing is a Knit365 collaboration where I get to work with some of my favourite designers and dyers and we collaborate and we come up with some projects together. But what that will lead to is on my lovely channel with all of you lovely folks in my community, we'll get to do a Knit365 knit along or crochet along where we all work on the same project, but we all share in a new designer to some of you, um, a new pattern that's almost been designed exclusively for us and our community. And I really love that idea. And I wanted to see what you thought about it. So the plan would be that I would um, work with a pattern designer and we would come up with a pattern together. I would sort of say, I would like a shawl, but I want a crescent shape or I want a triangular shape, for example. Or I'd like a sock pattern, but can it have this feature? Or can we have a cowl with this technique and I'm just a guy that sits on the floor knitting and talking to you all about what I get up to and I, I thought by doing a collaboration it's a lovely way for us and our community to raise up and support some dyers and designers and then be part of this community knit or crochet along and I really like that idea and I wanted to see what you all thought about it and if you're on board with that idea it will probably be a one scheme project um so what would what what should we make and this is the crowdsourcing part of this video so i'd love to know what you think about that idea below in the comments and i'd love to know what should we do so i think could it be a shawl for example let me know what type of patterns would you like to see um, and even be really specific, like you would like to see a lace sock pattern, for example. Um, because I'd love to make that community element really strong within this project. So we'd work with a designer and we would come up with a pattern. And then what I'll probably do is then try to work with a dyer to dye some yarn, which will be a Knit365 colorway, for example, um, that we can use with that pattern. So for those of you that wanted to get and get involved and have the yarn as well, um, we would have that option. Um, but otherwise it could be pattern only and people can still, still join in. So it would be accessible to everybody. So please let me know what you think about that idea in the comments box below and let me know the type of patterns or the type of things that you might like to see knitting, crochet, um, and then a certain style. That will be fantastic. This is only um, a gem of an idea at the minute. It's it's literally just come to me over the last few days. 
um, in terms of me being able to form it into um, a clear idea that I can talk to you all about. So, like, <laughs> this might be years off in the planning. It might be months off in the planning. Um, but I kind of feel like it's something that I'd love to do. And as I said, this community feel that we've got here, um, I'm sure it's an idea that you all would love to get on board with. And that's the benefit of having this community is that I can sit down and chat to you all and then we can all get involved together. So let me know what you think about that idea. The second part of this video then is the Q&A. So I get asked this quite a lot um, over on Instagram, but also in the comments here. When I talk about future content, um, there's always requests to do a tour of my stash, which we will do at some point. <laughs> I promise, um, but I need to, I was gonna say I need to hide it all from Mark. No, I need to get out the bits that I've hidden from Mark um, and then you can see my stash. Um, I also get things like what's in my project bag or my, my notions pouch. Um, so again, there'll be some mini videos I'm sure that we can that we can do. But one of the other ones that I often get asked for is a Q&A video. And I think I'm quite an open book. Um, this is an unfiltered video, you know me. If I make a mistake, we go and we start again, off we go. I don't really like to edit um, specific bits of the footage out. I'm sitting in the window this morning and it is boiling, I'm sweating. I have just had a shower, I'm getting ready for work. Um, so I'm doing this quickly before I go to work so that you get this video today on Monday afternoon. Um, but I often get asked about doing a Q&A video and I think that would be a brilliant idea. So again, second part of this video, in the comments box below, let me know, what do you wanna know about me? You might not wanna know anything and there might not be any questions, but you know, why I started knitting, favorite patterns, anything, anything that you think you wanna do to get to know me and my knitting or crochet, um, let me know. Pop them in the comments box below. I'm wondering if I might ask Mark to filter through some of the comments and come up with the questions to ask. Maybe we'll even get him on camera. He can be the uh, the Jeremy Paxman or the Fiona Bruce um, political interviewers, for those of you not in the UK, um, that he could ask the questions. Um, but that, I think that could be quite a fun video um, at some point in June. So let me know in the comments below what do you want to see in a Q&A video? Um, and if I need to grab projects and anything else, um, I'll prep that video and then sit down and chat to you all and be even more revealing than I am already in most of my other videos. Uh, there's, one, there's one video that will come during June. I'm doing a uh, sample knit for someone and Mark and I went out on the weekend and got very drunk. And in the sample video, we had to stop knitting because we had to go and get emergency uh, KFC. Because <laughs> we were very hungover and needed fried chicken. <laughs> so I am quite open. Um, I, I do often probably overshare. But I'm happy to do a Q&A. I think it would be really interesting. And I'm going to pop a sticker up over on my Instagram channel as well, because I often get asked questions over on Instagram. So I'll pop a sticker up over on Instagram and we'll get some questions over there and then I will arrange to do that video. That'll be a June video for, for sure. Um, and that's all I wanted to say today. I said it was just a very short video, me popping along to say hi, good morning, uh, the start of a new week. Um, it's shortly going to be coming up to the end of the month it's the 23rd now so only a week to go left in may so um i'm going to do my may wrap-up video next week um i might do it a day early it's my it's my non-work day next monday and i think that'll be like the 30th or the 31st of may so next week i'll probably do my wrap-up video um and i've got some other things that are already underway that I'm filming. Um, but I said I wanted to use this video as a quick hi, shout out from me, share my, uh, sit down and do a bit of knitting with you for, for 10 minutes, but then get you involved and, and do this as a community video. Thumbnail, maybe? 
Um, so let me know what you think of the collaboration idea. What projects shall we do as a Knit365 community, knit and or crochet along? And what do you want to know in a future video? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you for being here and being part of my community. There's five and a half thousand of you out there now. And it's, yeah, I'm just so grateful for you all being here and being part of the community in this crazy fibre journey that I'm on. Um, I'm patient with me when I don't get to finish many projects. <laughs> They'll get done at some point. Um, so yeah, let me know below what you think. Um, and thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed and you've just stumbled upon this video, head back and watch some of my other videos. You are very welcome. Um, my last video was one of my favorites. It was my bubble sweater where you got to see me cut my knitting. Um, so thank you for all the love that that video has shown. Interestingly, I think it's caught up in the number of views now, but a Friday night is not a good time to launch a video because it wasn't watched by as many people that watch a video on a Monday. I'm starting to learn how you all tick, but there we go. Uh, right, I now have to go off to work, sadly. So this video should be up Monday afternoon. Um, let me know. Um, really interested to see what you think about these two uh, community ideas and collaborations. Um, I've got some great designers in mind and a couple of dyers already for the first one. So I'm really looking forward to making contact with them and finding out if they want to be part of this little Knit365 collaboration crazy adventure. Um, but it's hopefully going to be super fun. So I hope that you've had a wonderful Monday if you're watching this on Monday. Um, but have a good week. I will be back next week with my wrap-up video. So until we speak again, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.